many times have you been in a car that broke down unexpectedly? When I was around 10 years old, my dad and I were driving in his old truck when it ran into some serious issues. I remember being a little worried, but my dad was a mechanic and he assured me that we would be okay. We just had to find an auto parts store immediately. Now, with the rise of software-defined vehicles, this kind of unanticipated car-related worry is more and more a thing of the past. But along with all the cool stuff included with SDVs, there is a growing need for software reuse, energy efficiency, and integrated solutions that reduce PCB footprints. We also need a robust platform that delivers all of this, preferably with a long legacy of automotive innovation. And one such platform is the S32 Vehicle Compute Platform from NXP. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Raghavan Nagarajan from NXP and I explore the challenges associated with software-defined vehicles, the benefits that the S32 M2 integrated solutions for motor control from NXP bring to this arena, and how you can get started using these solutions for your next automotive design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from NXP. Hi, Raghavan. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, nice, Amelia. Okay, so first off, let's talk about how the automotive industry is redefining itself these days. Sure. See, nowadays you're seeing a complete redefining of the automotive industry. We know our cars are based on combustion engines and they were safe, used for personal transport. We had a well-established ecosystem, but now things are changing. Now we are moving into what you call as electrical vehicles and software-defined vehicle. For that, we need a new ecosystem. This ecosystem consists of a stable hardware and an advanced software platform. Fantastic. Now, we're talking about motor control solutions for SDV end nodes. But when it comes to software-defined vehicles, NXP has had a lot of solutions in this arena, right? Yes. We have a range of solutions based on S32 platform. And NXP expands this S32 platform into motor control solutions for software-defined end nodes. We want to maximize the software reuse across our ARM-based S32 vehicle compute platform and to support the automotive industry to transition towards a software-defined electrical vehicle. Not only this, also we are providing a solution to control BLDC and PMSM motor, contributing to energy saving and range extension of electrical vehicle. We bring the benefits to the OEMs, to the tier ones, as well as for the car users. What are the challenges for OEMs designing endnodes? Yes, there are quite some challenges for the OEMs and tier ones who are designing the endnodes. One of the number one challenges is supply complexity. Then cost is always a big challenge. And space and weight is one of the biggest challenge because we want to have a sleek car so whatever the motor control applications, what we are doing, the space should be very small. The control unit should be very small. Also, because we are talking about software-defined vehicle, there is a software development complexity as well as uh, since there is no internal combustion engine, so the noise of the other, like for example, sunroof and becomes predominant and therefore there is a need to reduce the in-cabin noise. And always, you know, in an electrical vehicle, efficiency and range extension is a topic, and that is a big challenge. And our S32 M2 is able to address all these challenges. Give me some more details of this solution. Our new S32 M2 integrated solution for motor control is based on a platform concept. Therefore, you can reduce your supply complexity 
and our total due to an integrated solution you have a reduction in the total cost of ownership and since it is an integrated solution where everything is integrated the microcontroller the gate driver as well as the pmic and the can transceiver you are reducing the space and the footprint in the circuit board as well as since you have a common s32 platform then your software development complexity reduces so you can reuse your software as well as it will increase your time to market and s32 m2 is able to implement advanced algorithms noise cancelling algorithms you are able to reduce the in cabin noise and since this s32 m2 is focusing on bldc and pmsm motor n nodes these are motors with uh, light weight and the high efficiency therefore it enables energy efficiency and range extension of electrical vehicles all right so how does this solution support different architectures in sdv yes yeah, so you have a variety of architectures in sdv you have a domain body zonal cross domain zonal as well as consolidated computing architectures but the n node remains the same therefore s32 m2 uh, pro is solution is able to adapt to every architecture and enables the oem to easily migrate from one architecture to the other without changing their control on the n nodes and also it to maximizing the reuse of software across the platform so that it reduces their software complexity when they move from one architecture to the other architecture okay so what do you provide in addition to silicon we provide a complete motor control solution totally we don't only provide silicon but we provide uh, hardware design support using reference manuals evaluation boards then full software ecosystem software uh, tools and uh, also software demo codes and we have a very good motor control expertise and know how inside nxp where we can help our customers oems and tier 1s to overcome any difficulties if they face in implementing this solution what kind of applications does the s32 m2 cover yes we cover more than 20 application in a car here if you see it we divide this application into safety functions comfort functions and some for ices and some for evs for example if you look at the evs we provide for a battery pack cooling fans and pumps inverter cooling fans and pumps and uh, for the heat pump or in cabin temperature regulation for all these motors we can use s32 m2 to control them and for example like comfort functions like seat and headrest control or a sliding door control trunk openers and foldable steering wheels as well as uh, sunroof control we can use s32 m2 based control for these motors and the normal safety function like uh, seat belt pretensioners mirror adjustment parking pole and wiper control as well as heat shifters and disconnectors switch we can use this s32 m2 and for the ice for all the fuel pumps uh, water pump oil pump cooling fans we can use this s32 m2 system solution fantastic now can you also talk about some specific application benefits yes i would like to talk today about two upcoming and futuristic motor control application one is a foldable steering wheel at the press of the button the steering wheel will come out of the dashboard and open up so that you can start driving the other application what i am talking it will be an low profile sunroof what i mean by low profile sunroof is the sunroof there will be no noise when the sunroof is operated that means you have a very low in cabin noise and s32 m2 provides these advantages for these functions for example it has a small form factor so it has form factor optimized we provide a complete ecosystem therefore you can do a fast innovative prototype and uh, fast time to market the s32 m2 is an aslb compliant and therefore you have all the safety functions in it like anti pinch functionality and everything you can implement very easily and ultimately you can achieve a double digit bill of material cost reduction using s32 m2 compared to discrete solution that is very attractive because all these benefits combined with the reduction in cost that's fantastic 
Absolutely. All right. Well, before we go, can you recap your main points for me? Yes. Here I try to summarize whatever we have seen till now. S32M2 is a platform extension of S32M2 so that we can have the next generation motor control in automotive space. It is highly integrated system solution. Therefore, it leads to a lower cost of ownership and reduces supply challenges. Also, we are providing a complete ecosystem. Therefore, it is simplified for the adoption of STV concept. And since it is powerful, we can implement advanced noise cancelling algorithms so that the in-cabin noise reduction is possible using S32M2. And since S32M2 focuses on BLDC and PMSM motor control, which is light, very efficient, it leads to range improvement in EVs. Fantastic. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from NXP. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.com.